In this video, I'll show you how you can accept payments or get paid for doing work from home jobs sitting at home. Let's go. Hey guys, Mani Karthik here. If you're a first time visitor here, just a quick introduction. I'm a blogger and online marketing guy from India. For the last 10 years, I worked in the US and Middle East helping companies excel with online marketing. I got bored and quit my job to return to India in late 2017. Ever since, I've been blogging on my own from this uh, sweet home office and helping folks like you with blogging and earn a living online. I share everything that I've learned on this channel and through my blog. Do check it out if you get the time. It's moneykarthik.com. Okay, so today's topic is all about payments. If you're working from home or is a freelancer or a blogger, what are the ways by which you can get paid? Is it enough just to get a bank account or are there easier ways to do it? Let's look at some of the best options to get paid in India. So there are two types of payments based on where you are and where your employers are. Say you are in India and your employer is also in India, then things are very easy. But if you're in India and your employer is in USA or Singapore or any other country in the world, then things get tricky. Let's look at solutions for both scenarios. First, if you and your employer both are in India. Payment options are pretty straightforward. The very first one is online bank transfer. For this, you will have to share your bank account number, IFSC code and the address. Although this looks pretty straightforward, there could be privacy issues involved. Say you don't want to give away your location or tell which bank you deal with, etc. Then you have to look at other options. The good thing about bank transfer is that there are no fees involved and you get instant fund transfer via online banking. Things are pretty smooth this way. Now, the other way to get paid are through mobile payment options like Paytm, Google Pay, Phone Pay, etc. In all these methods, you should have already set up your payment methods with the app and have your account verified and link to your bank account. In these cases, you don't have to reveal anything such as your bank address or location, etc. In some cases, you might have to reveal your phone number, but that's about it. And you're very well versed with using mobile payment options, I believe, because they've become so easy these days in India. One click and you get paid. So I'd recommend them if you're getting paid in small or medium amounts, like around $100 or less than that. Now, let's look at the second scenario where your employer is overseas, say USA or Singapore, and you work for them either directly or through freelancing platform like Fiverr. What do you do? How do you get paid? And what is the best way to get paid? So the number one option is PayPal. PayPal is a free option where you can get paid just with an email address. All you have to do is register on paypal.com and verify your bank with PayPal. For this, the first time, PayPal will deposit a small amount in your bank account and you have to mention the amount in the verification option. That's how they verify. Once your bank account is verified, you might have to also share your KYC documents like passport or Aadhaar, etc. You can start accepting payments even without those documents, but to withdraw it to your bank accounts, verification is required. The problem with PayPal is that even though it's super easy to use, it has fees for every transaction and I don't like it. That is, if your employer is, let's say, paying you $100, PayPal would take its cut of 2.5% plus a 3 rupees flat fixed free. So in effect, you get only some 96 to 95 dollars. Also, their exchange rate, which is the currency exchange rate, is uh, not that great. So in effect, you might actually be losing money with every transaction on PayPal. But some people insist on paying via PayPal. Like they'll ask you whether you have PayPal or not because it's so popular. So keep it ready anyways and use it whenever you have absolutely no other choice. That's my recommendation. Oh, uh, now that I mentioned PayPal, there is this beautiful, cute little tool that I want to mention about. It's called buymeacoffee.com. It's a simple and cute website that lets you create your own fancy link and get paid via PayPal. So if you join them, you'll get a link like uh, buymeacoffee.com slash moneykarthik. Fancy, right? Easy to remember and share. So every time someone asks you how they can pay you, just uh, flip out your buy me a coffee link and ask them to buy you a coffee. <laughs> It's great for small payments and I like the team who build this product and I love their experience of using the product, the UX on all, it's just uh, amazing. So check it out, it's uh, buymeacoffee.com. Couldn't miss it when I mentioned PayPal. All right, so back to the second tool. The second best option to get paid in India is via Payoneer. Payoneer has been around as a payment platform for a while now, but only in the West. It recently launched in India and is a strong contender for PayPal. PayPal obviously is very popular and that's why they have that nasty 2.5% fees, right? Nobody asked them about it. But Payoneer also works exactly or kind of similar way like PayPal, but their fees are lesser than PayPal. As uh, instead of the 2.5% for every transaction, it's a flat $3 
for every transaction. Having said that, Paleo is not well known for its customer service and uh, you can see that many people are complaining about it online. Their currency exchange rate um, is also on the higher side not very impressive. I would recommend you use it if you have higher amounts of payment coming in and you want to hold on to that amount instead of converting it to Indian rupees immediately. Let's say you get $1,000 and above and you want to hold it in USD itself. Then Payoneer might be a good choice. Just look up on the reviews for Payoneer on Google and uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's go to number three. So number three is TransferWise. Nice name, isn't it? Well, let me explain it this way. If you're making good money from overseas and is looking for the most effective way to convert those dollars to Indian rupees, then I can confidently say that you won't find a better service than TransferWise. PayPal, Payoneer type services focuses on making it easy to pay, but once you get paid, converting and withdrawing that money to India is where you'll get stuck or where you'll get the short end of the stick. This is where a service like TransferWise solves your problem. TransferWise does not have any hidden fees or anything. So let's say you have $1,000 to be accepted. If you use PayPal, then you lose, you know, 2.5% right away, plus that uh, three rupees flat service fee. Payoneer will give you a $3 flat fee and a high exchange rate. So if you check Google, how much is $1 converted to Indian rupees, they will show the current day exchange price, right? So today $1 is equal to some uh, 76 rupees. But Payoneer and PayPal will never give you those rates. They have their own rates and it's always lesser than the published rate. But TransferWise on the other side will give you a very close rate to the rate shown publicly on Google. That is the 76 rupees like I mentioned. So you get more value for your money. Now, the only problem is that starting an account takes uh, some time with uh, TransferWise. There is a lot of verification and uh, all of that. And it's not as popular as PayPal or Payoneer. It's known more as a you know, money transfer service. And that's why the name TransferWise. But I like it because it gives more value for the dollars I earn. So guys, uh, these are the top three ways by which you can get paid doing freelance or work from home jobs in India. This is not just it. There are a few more ways too, but these are the most reliable, popular and solid ways to get paid from international clients online. The other ways I won't recommend much, but I'll mention them uh, in the description below. So please check it out. Understand that many of them are good alternatives to the above mentioned three services, but they are either new or less popular and have uh, you know a lot of shortfalls as well. So I'm not gonna mention them here in the video, but do check out the description. I have links to all of the alternate services. So if you're a work from home professional, blogger or freelancer, sign up for the above mentioned services and compare them yourself. Each one is good for a particular use case. For example, PayPal is great to get started and get paid if you don't have frequent payments. It's good for beginners. Payoneer is great for getting paid for small and big amounts and holding your money for some time before withdrawing it. And TransferWise is great if you have large amounts coming in and you want the best currency exchange rate and more value for your money. So you might even want to use all three for different cases, however it works for you. So that's it. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, hit that like button so that it'll motivate me to make more awesome content and videos for you. If you have any questions or recommendations, the comment box below is always open and I'm watching it like a hawk for new comments. So if you want to make friends with me, commenting is a great idea. Oh yeah, and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, but you knew that already. See you in another video. This is Mani Karthik, signing off. PayPal is a free option where you can just get paid with an easy...